again everybody, it's Tuesday, and you know what that means, it's Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we will talk about two functions on the navigation toolbar that will help you visually see data that relates to jobs, quotes, shop floor efficiency, and sales. These two functions are the shop view function and the dashboards function. We will provide an overview of what dashboards and shop view are all about. Both the shop view and the dashboard buttons can be found on the navigation toolbar. The navigation toolbar can be found across the top of your job boss window. To open job boss dashboards, click dashboards in the navigation toolbar. Job boss dashboards includes up to three tabs, depending on your user privileges which visually present data related to jobs, quotes, sales, and shop floor efficiency. These three tabs are the jobs dashboard, the quotes slash sales dashboard, and the efficiency dashboard. Each dashboard contains a series of charts populated by job boss data. In this case, the dashboard opens to the jobs dashboard tab. Each individual dashboard has a question mark in the upper right corner which displays a description for that dashboard. To view additional details, click on a chart or on a single data series in a chart. In this example, we've chosen the job status pie chart. Each piece of the pie in the pie chart represents the status of jobs. We have 154 active jobs that have not been started and 11 active jobs that are in a started status. Clicking on the pie piece displays the job status detail window, which shows the job ID, the customer ID, part number, order quantity, and the level of the jobs that are both active and started. Clicking on the red X will close this window. If your preference is to see this dashboard colors displayed differently, you can either click on the F11 key on your keyboard or using the menu option clicking view and user options. Once the user options is open, you can move over to the theme tab. And under the theme tab, we have this dashboard theme here. You can either choose to view it as a light display or a dark display. Currently it was being shown in the light display so if I choose dark here and click OK, Job Boss is going to tell me the next time I open dashboards my changes will be applied. So I'm going to click OK here now and I'm going to go back to um, the top of my screen here and close dashboards and go back to click on dashboards in my navigation bar and click on dashboards again and now when this comes up my user display is different. It is now has a black background and that may be a preference for you. Job Boss does reload new data each time you launch the dashboard or select a different tab. Or you can click refresh on the top right of each one of these dashboards, each one of these tabs in fact. The next topic I want to talk about today is the shop view function. While already logged in the Job Boss, you can click on the shop view icon located on the navigation bar. Here you will enter your search criteria. Today I'm searching for a job using the job ID field. Job number 10144. And I want to make sure that my status is set to active. Now to view details for job 10144 in shop view, I just need to click on the apply filter button. Now we can start seeing details about job 10144. The top section shows general job information such as part number and order quantity. Scrolling right we can see the status of the job which is active and the completed quantity is zero. We can also view these status bars for the progress of routings, materials, and deliveries. By hovering over these I can see in green that two of them have two of the routing steps have been completed, two of them are started, which indicate is indicated as orange, and the white uh, status bar indicates that there's still five more to complete. Same with materials. If I hover over the materials section, I can see one has been closed, uh, zero have been started, and I have four total items to complete for my materials section. The section below is controlled by different tabs of data. Right now we are on the routings tab. The routings for this job are displayed here. Program, laser, break, etc. We can see here that there are time entries on this job by scrolling over to the right here. We can see that some quantities have been reported 
of 200 here and a complete status for the first two routing steps. And I can see that the third routing step has been started for break, but no quantities have yet been reported to the job. On the routing step line for the outside service, if you see an orange icon, this is a sign that activity has taken place on this outside service. Double clicking on this icon will bring up a details window which will tell you pack list information and purchase order information related to this outside service. I'm going to close this details window and then we're going to take a look at the materials tab next of shop view. This tab shows any deliveries for this job. If it had been shipped, the date, the quantity, the pack list, and the ship via numbers would display here. All the assemblies associated with this job are also displayed here. If you use blanket jobs, you would use the releases tab. And if you're using sales order, order processing, you can view details on the sales order links tab. And this will conclude today's tech tip video. We'll see you next time.